Hi folks, this video is to explain some details that happened while we were in France, the town of Angoulême, France, where they had the International Comic Festival. Now, I, there was a confrontation between us, myself, and some of our Japanese friends, and one of the organizers of the festival, and that video, I have a link in the description, as well as I have a link to my blog explaining in detail what transpired. So allow me to go over just a few of those items. He closed down the Japanese Magna booth, this French official, claiming that it was political. That's what he said, Kate. He said it was political, and we have no politics at this venue. You understand? No politics. Never mind the South Korean exhibit was laden with politics, and we asked him about the, no, no, no. It's not politics, it's historic fact. That's what he said. It was an historic fact. We're trying to tell him that we were not engaged in politics, but offering an alternative view on the topic the South Koreans were offering in reference to the comfort woman issue. A few days later, we met with the lawyer of the, organ of the festival, and he told us, and he showed it to us, that it was a violation of French law to deny history. Huh? Nobody was denying history. No one denied that there was comfort women. We were just basically offering another view. But the French, by passing this law that you can't deny history, they did that to prevent extremism by being extreme. But we illustrated to them that the South Korean ex exhibition was definitely engaged in politics and historic fact was a fantasy. Look at one of the exhibits they had. It shows a Japanese plane dropping bombs, women, onto the ground. Now to the French, that's historic fact. That wasn't politics. That actually happened. The Japanese were dropping women out of the planes as bombs. Yeah! Viva la France! What are you, stupid? It was clear Japan bashing. At the angle, at the angle, however you say that silly town, angle, <laughs> train station, I have a suggestion that you may want to add two signs into that train station. Also, the motto for the French nation, France's motto, it consists of three words. And I found those three words engraved in a courthouse a few blocks from Notre Dame in Paris. And here they are. They consist of the word liberté, égalité, fraternité. <laughs> you left that one more word, France. The other word should be, the fourth word in your motto should be hypocrite. Well, the gentleman, Nicholas, who was responsible for shutting down the Japanese booth, he was rather animated. He could have come out of central casting in Hollywood to be the essence of every negative stereotype of a French gentleman because this guy had it all. And now we're going to engage in what I would like to call the provocateur dance or the Nicholas Shuffle. Are you kidding? Okay. No, I'm not I kidding you. I understand your position. You're yeah. in 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 your position. Take your book. Okay. It's finished. But can you give us back the stolen material, please? Not yet, sir. Not do, yet. do we have to call the because police? Oh, you, the police will be coming for sure. Oh, got for it. sure. Okay. Yeah. The, 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 because you took the, stuff the that wasn't states, yours. The, the prefecture, the French. All right, folks. We'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. God bless the nation you happen to be in. And viva la Viva la Ah, we'll see you. <laughs> <laughs>